Hey Libras, welcome to the weekly love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from October 12th to the 21st. Happy birthday, Libras. Of course, I got to give a shout out to your birthdays, first and foremost. Uh, those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy that you could be experiencing directly, or um, it could be uh, someone within your environment or someone that you're energetically attached to, okay? So they don't have to be physically around you. They could just be someone you think about, someone you talk about, and of course, it is energy, so it can be vice versa. So switch up the roles if you have to. Then we're going to go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen, and then we'll go ahead and do the reading. Libras. <laughs> uh, your bullshit detector is going off, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Hate to break it to you. I did hear reservations, and then they showed me a fox. Specifically from the Lenormand deck. I, actually, I guess I, I probably should have pulled that out first. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Libras, I love you. I love you guys. I don't want you guys to have a good birthday. And I did see you guys celebrating. I definitely saw some birthday stuff that I didn't feel really a need to mention because it's like, well, it is their birthday season. Like, I saw cakes and drinks and things like that. Um, get it on, Libra. Enjoy. You are Libra. You guys like to do it big if you can. So this is the card they actually showed me from this deck. Oh, it's uh, nine, of, uh, nine of wands, nine of wands. Yeah, so you've got your reservations about a situation you're finding yourself in or people in your environment or people in your life. And I'm not surprised for Libra. 14 breaking down to a five. So there's change afoot for you. I'm feeling the need to leave that out for some reason. So we're going to leave that out. Just know my intuition here. Um, they also showed me the moon card, like the very standard from the Rider Waite deck moon card, uh, which is Piscean energy, also Cancerian. We do the full moon in Aries on the 13th, okay? In Air, did I just say that? Wow. In Aries. Sorry to sound repetitive. I, like I said it and that second I said it, I was like, did I say it? <laughs> anyway, Libras. So you've got this kind of energy going on here. This is like cleverness. It's wittiness, but it can also be about deception. It's basically like alarm bell card and your guard is up. What is this person up to? What do they really want from me? what's really going on here. And it is very indicative of the energy that we're in, but especially for you Libras, because you kind of already have that about you anyway. You are the justice card. You are about balance. You are about what's right in the world, especially who's going to be acting right towards you, right? So we have the full moon in Aries, which is your natural seventh, your natural counterpart. So this will be affecting your relationships specifically, especially like romantic relationships for those who are Libra rising. Um, keeping in mind Venus and, and Mercury will be in Scorpio. Scorpio is very probing. It's all about what's hidden in the dark behind closed doors. It's all about true intentions. Mercury in Scorpio will start uh, the pre-shot effect for retrograde on the 11th, okay? Not going fully retrograde until Halloween. So Libra, almost called you Scorpio, that's funny. Could have some uh, cuspers in here. So Libra, something's going down. You got a gut feeling something ain't right. You got a gut feeling something ain't right, but I don't think you're taking action on it yet. You want to. I, I urge you to really hesitate from taking action. I only say that because full moon in Aries is going to make people very on edge and want to retaliate, want to lash out a little bit here to dig up truth. But that doesn't necessarily mean that someone's actually up to something, right? It's the moon. It is about illusions. And yes, women's are about revealing the illusions. But up until that point, you know, it could be, you know, you could think someone's up to something, but the truth is maybe they're not right? You just don't know. So hold back. Hold back a little bit, Libra. I do think you are, you are in observation mode about this person or situation. Again, whatever it is that you're not trusting. A lot of trust issues are going to be coming up for people around this time, but Libra for you especially, and Mars will be in your sign as well. Also kind of giving you that urge to kind of take action. Please hold back. Please hold back until you have all the facts on a situation or a person. Until you like, 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 without a doubt, kind of evidence. I couldn't think of the word. I know there's a word. <laughs> um, damning. That, thank you. That's what it is. Until you have damning evidence about a situation or a person, do not act on it and just recognize that some of what you're feeling might be from planetary aspects happening or just some of your own trust issues coming to the surface so you could, like, deal with it. Some of you, unfortunately, are going to find out that someone's up to no good or that some people don't have your best interests at heart and the full moon is helping you to realize that. But again... Wait for the damning evidence and then take action on it, okay? All right, Libras, let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. Get the cards calibrated. Hmm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. 
for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Keep in mind, guys, this is just a time frame for organizational purposes. Whenever you're gutted to watch this is when you're gutted to watch this, okay? Closing forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Why are they showing me drinks again? I mean, I know it's going to be your birthday, but... Mm, oh... Uh, one of you might get damning evidence at a party <laughs> or when there's alcohol involved. Someone might be spilling some tea through the gin and juice. Okay, <laughs> just say. Placing forth messages of truth and love for those who need it. For Libra, Summer Rising Venus and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. One more. That, hurt. that feels pretty good. Hmm. Oh, they're showing me, like, that's a weird, okay. They're actually showing me like plants, but we're in October. I mean, I know there's like winter plants, like winter fruit and stuff, but they're showing me a lot of spring plants. I just feel, it feels like springtime. Something might have happened in spring and you might be getting the truth about it now. Oh yeah, they're saying yes. So Libras, someone might have done some shit or some fighting drama cut could have gone down in springtime between you and you know a social network or friends or family whatever what have you and you just try to put it behind you or it's like it never really got resolved or it was just it's in the past it might be coming back up during this time you might be getting the full truth on what actually happened okay or what someone was really up to also those of you who've been starting projects in spring you're going to start seeing the rewards of that we are in harvest season Yes, they're saying yes. Oh, May. I just heard May. May. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, October 12th to the 21st. Something about a dog. What is this? Hold on. There's some drama about a dog. Why is this coming up? Um, I just got cards. Hold on. What is this drama about a dog? I'm just getting like family drama around a dog. Seems like a tiny dog, a small dog. They're not really giving me much more than that. Um, there's gonna be resolution about that. There's gonna be resolution about that this month. Oh, Libra. <laughs> Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Wheel of, I almost said the High Priestess for a second. Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy. Ooh, and then we got the Four of Cups. Uh, Cancerian. <laughs> I was like, what's that sign? Cancerian energy. Ooh, I don't like this. This is interesting. So there definitely was fighting and drama in the past here where, oh, I'm getting regret. I'm getting major, major regret. It's really caused delays and slowed things down for a lot of people. I'm also getting this energy of like bad karma attached to it, whoever was the instigator. instigator. But there's a lot of regret. There's a lot of regrets, regrets over past conflict here. I'm also getting family drama attached to this for a lot of you. Keep in mind, this is a pre-shuffle, so it doesn't always relate to the reading itself, but sometimes there's extra messages. It usually relates, but sometimes these are, just, these are extra messages for other people. Again, only take what resonates from any reader you watch. These are very general, guys. We're, we're doing readings for thousands of people. Mm. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. The dog was cute. It was like a little white fluffy dog. I don't know what kind of breed that is, but it was very cute. Mm. Treasure. Why am I getting treasure? Treasure. I'm getting 10 of Pentacles energy. Oh, this is definitely not going to be for everybody. Um, some of you are finally getting what you deserve in your career. Some of you are getting a huge payout. Inheritance. Oh. Um. If someone passed away and left you money, it's already happened. I'm not predicting it, but the money's going to come through. Page of Cups in reverse. Someone's also holding back some major truth here, emotional truth, um, regarding how they feel about something. This could be you, Libra, or it could be something else, and that could be why your bullshit detector is going off. Like, what are you really fucking hiding from me? You know, like that kind of energy. Someone's definitely holding back here. Someone's holding back feelings of love, like, you know, looking at you like Ten of Pentacles energy for sure. But I do feel for others, there's there's maybe some emotional deceit here where maybe someone's not telling you how they really feel. And the truth of it is, it's like not good intentions or it's not good things that they're feeling about you. That's going to be for some of you. Your bullshit detector will tell you. But don't, again, don't lash out till you have the dam damning evidence, okay? Because some of you might be wrong in what you're sensing because of trust issues. And if you have trust issues, then you already know. I don't need to tell you who you are. Six. 
<laughs> I love this deck, but the six and the nines, they didn't exactly put these on right. Because if you look, hold on. It's like, if you look at one, they're like flipped on the opposite, right? So I realize you've had, you have to read it like, like that. Anyway, six of cups, scorpionic energy, could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. Yeah, someone's holding back feelings of love. Someone's holding back feelings of love. Also about um, emotions from the past, like what really has happened in the past. Oh God, yeah, five of cups. It's more scorpionic energy here. Someone's uh, holding back their feelings about love lost in the past or um, they're holding back feelings of love because they're terrified of what's going to happen if they actually say something. They don't want to be back in this place of feeling at a loss about anything. Yeah, they don't want to be back in that place of feeling a loss about anything. All right, well, I feel like the cards are pretty, cal you know, calibrated here. So Libra, let's go ahead and get into your reading. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of regrets or regrets. I don't know, I hope I need to say that. Uh, a lot of regrets here, a lot of holding back, and it is making your bullshit detector go off because you can't hold back shit from a Libra. Libras are all about honesty. All about transparency. Good luck trying to keep secrets from a Libra. All right. Any ma oh, almost skipped my whole intro for a second. 11, 11 when I looked at the phone. Uh, anyway, <laughs> bringing it back. So these are very general messages, guys. Very general readings. Of course, not all these messages are for everyone. As you heard me set the intention, messages come through for those who need to hear them. So if it's not your week, it's not your week. And that's cool. Please check out any other reader here on YouTube. We are working with energy, guys. And keep in mind, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, just reverse the roles. If it's resonating with you, you know who you are in the story. Um, also, guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Gender is not specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. We read energies here. We're not reading gender, okay? And yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. Any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Someone... Sorry, another download about that holding back of feelings. Uh, Libra, someone has had feelings for you for a long time and they really regret not telling you. You're going to be finding that out, but there's something about it that's going to make you very on edge, very much not trusting. Yeah, they want me to keep this out. I'm just going to leave it out there then. Any messages for Libra? It's almost like, why now? How am I supposed to believe you now? You know, very Libran, very Libran. Any messages for Libra regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Libra regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. The Hanged Man Piscean Energy. Ooh, Libra. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like this is someone you're connecting with. Again, it can be vice versa. Hanged Man is Piscean Energy. It's almost like someone's gone into hiding a little bit. Someone's gone into hiding. Getting a lot of third eye energy too. A lot of third eye energy. Um, someone's gone into hiding. I Oh, I'm actually feeling like awakening symptoms. Oh, I'm feeling awakening symptoms. Someone's kind of freaking out about it. Okay, Libra, this is you or someone that you're connecting with. This is just going to be a download. I don't think it's connected to the general reading here. I'm getting a download for a few of you. Um, someone you know or you yourself has started an awakening process. And I feel like if, if, I feel like it's like the first. I feel like it's like the first time this person's ever experienced it. And they're kind of freaking out. Their third eye is opening quite, dr I'm getting actually drastically. I'm getting drastically and I think they're realizing their own abilities and they're kind of freaking out a little bit. And so they're going to, they're, they're hiding. So they're hiding. They might even be hiding from you. You could be hiding from this person. Try not to take it personal. I think that is what's making your bullshit detector go off. Like where the hell this person go? You might even think this person ghosted you. They're dealing with their own shit and they're freaking out. They don't know what to do about it. They're just gonna have to write it out and figure their, their shit out. Okay. Cause clearly they're not reaching out to people. Anyway, that was for a few of you. Um, Going back to the to the general collective that I was feeling here, with this hangman energy, it's like someone is in contemplation mode on what to do about something for their own um, happiness, is what I'm getting with this. Happiness. Happiness. It's like they kind of put a pause button on, on everything going on to figure... Life move. Okay. To figure out a big life choice here. A big life choice. And it's... Sorry. So I'm, I'm almost through the end of my uh, third ascension here. I'm seeing a lot more stuff now. Just so, so I just saw a female walk by. Anyway, whatever. Um, don't know if I need to tell you that. But this is relating to this person's happiness. Who? Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Yeah. This emperor has hung themselves up to figure some shit out here, okay? For some of you, that person going through an awakening process or an ascension process, this emperor is going through it. So 
Again, if this is someone that you know, then you know your role. Okay. I like it though. I like this energy. It does feel very positive, even for those who are in that panic mode of like, what the hell is happening to me? Any other message? Libra, like I said, for a lot of you, this is someone you're connecting with. Going back to that like ascension awakening um, energy that I was picking up on. Again, not for all of you. There's only for some of you that you're connected to someone who's going through this. Your intuition is telling you that they are, but you want that extra confirmation, but at the same time, they're not communicating to you about it. So you're like, suspicion mode. Any other messages for Libra? Any other messages for Libra regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? I'm also getting, oh, this is interesting. I'm picking up on like family whispers. I feel like it's about a father figure or a patriarchal figure. There's something about this figure um, or this masculine energy that is kind of like big question marks, big unknowns, big unknowns and the family's whispering about it. Ooh, King of Pentacles, I like it. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. I love this energy. I love this energy. I feel like this emperor, again, going back to like general collective energy. I know I'm all over the place, guys. I just, when I get messages, like I just gotta spit them out, okay? Um, going back to this emperor hangman energy, this person thinking about their happiness, what they wanna do, where they wanna go. Whatever it is they're thinking about, it's regard it's ne it's needing to harness a King of Pentacles energy to do it, to get to their happy place. And that's what they're thinking about right now and how to make that happen and what steps are needed. This is about commitment and loyalties in, in career or in relationships. King of Pentacles basically is committed very tangibly. I've had to say this recently, where they get it, they get this shit done in writing. <laughs> they get this shit done in writing. Whether they're committing to a family, a lover, or a business, or a friend, whatever they're committing to. They put pen to paper on it. I like it though. It feels it feels very like feels very like masculine, and it feels like it's about providing, providing. It does feel like there's a money component here to some extent. I do feel a sense of needing to build up as well to build a foundation to get to this happy place for this emperor. Any other messages for Libra regarding love? Ooh. Okay. Oh my, oh my, and hearing denial, <laughs> denial. Star in reverse, Aquarian energy and the page of swords in reverse. Oh, interesting. This is why this emperor has been needing to be in this hangman position. They've been in denial about needing to do this. They've been in denial about needing to take these steps or take action to harness this energy to get to their happy place. I'm getting major, major denial here. It's almost like a lack of faith in oneself, a lot of like negative self-talk or self-doubt. Which is interesting for an emperor, because emperors have usually been through a lot of shit to become an emperor here. But yeah, it's almost like a lack of belief, a lack of confidence, and denial that they could actually do it. That's changing. That's changing. Interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Libra? Any other messages for Libra? Libra, you're also not believing this person. I feel like when this comes to light, when they're like, when they step to you and go, this, that, or the other, or because like you know something's going on behind the scenes with this person, you're kind of in guard mode, you're in suspicion mode here. Um, you're not believing them. You're having a lot of issues trusting this person. Any other messages for Libra regarding love? October, oh, there's the communication. October 12th to the 21st. All right, now this is the nine, okay. <laughs> All right, 801, Sagittarian energy, and nine of swords in a verse, Gemini energy. You two will talk. You'll talk about this. You might even like travel a little bit or have some kind of forward movement together physically, like moving in or what have you. It is movement, but I'm getting communication first and foremost here. And that will dissipate the anxiety you're feeling and the suspicion that you're feeling. It will help it dissipate. But I feel like it's going to be a very long conversation. Might even require quite a few conversations. Overall energy, we have four swords in reverse, Libra energy. Underneath that, we have strength in reverse, Leo energy. And then, oh, there it is, the high priestess, Piscean energy. Also, Gemini for me as a reader. For some, this emperor is just really focused on career and they're making big, big career moves, Libra. And they've just been not talking to you about that. And that's been bothersome to you, okay? Others, I'm still picking up on that, like, patriarchal kind of energy and the whispers and the whispers and either way it's going to end up in a conversation that's going to dissipate a lot of your anxiety and a lot of your fears and a lot of your suspicion which is beautiful but overall look at this 
High Priestess is representing secrets here. And with Four of Swords in verse and Strength in verse, this is you being not cool about shit. <laughs> not cool about how shit is being handled here. Like Four of Swords in verse, you know that there's shit going on. You know, you know, Libra. And with Strength in verse, it's also like not having that confidence either in other people or your environment because you can tell that there's shit you just don't know that's going on behind the scenes here. You really don't like that. You really don't like that. But let's go ahead and look at this emperor a little bit further. Let's look at the hangman position that they're in. I'm going to use right away for this one. So I have the hangman. So I have the hangman for Libra. Yeah, and see, I think that's why they wanted me to say, like, really hold back before lashing out here, Libra, before you have damning evidence. Because this person just seems like they need to, like, process alone you know just saying so i have the hangman i just heard leo so i have the hangman for libra so i have the hangman for libra regarding love october 12th to the 21st so i have the hangman for libra regarding love october 12th to the 21st Time with the hangman for Libra. For those regarding that inheritance that I was picking up on, I think that there was like a kerfuffle over the will or arguments over the will or what have you. And so that, again, that's being resolved. Eight of swords, Gemini energy. Yeah, yeah. So this emperor sitting in hangman position because they know what they want, but there's a lot of fear and ego here as well, keeping them from what they want. And they know that they have to address it. They know they've been putting it off for a long time. They've been putting off making this move for a long time, whether it's in love or business um, or family. Yeah, so United of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Very much trapped in fear. I almost almost feel like um, a lot of throat chakra energy. Suppre suppression of the truth to others. Like constantly ho holding their peace. That's what it is. Thank you. Like, you know, like how they say that, like in the movies, like with weddings and stuff, like, oh, like speak now, forever hold your peace. This person holds their peace a lot. They hold their peace a lot and it's time to not do that anymore. It's time to not do that anymore. Um, I kind of feel for this person because I feel a little bit like, not like a ticking time bomb, it's interesting. So like, you know, like typically for most people when they suppress, 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 it like just comes out, explodes and they have issues or what have you, or they've been held back a lot and they've suppressed, 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 and then they kind of have a freak out moment. That's a lot of people, right? I feel like this person internalizes it. And I think it actually affects this person energetically. It's interesting. Instead of like an accumulation of energy and rising, it's like it accumulates and like, like gets sucked down, sucked within. So I'm with the hangman for Libra regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Mm, Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, this person also wants to communicate a lot. They really want to communicate. The energy I was picking up on of like sharing feelings of like the truth. Cut this person constantly holds their peace. They, they, they're really not wanting to hold their peace anymore. They're really not wanting to hold their peace towards a Queen of Cups energy, someone that is very loving, very nurturing, very, can't, very, very heavy Cancerian energy. Very heavy Cancerian energy. Um, this Queen of Cups, hold on, I'm picking up a lot of stuff with this person. Um, this person has a very, very open heart chakra is what I'm getting. So it's like, I think this person's really, really good at, um, well, first of all, they're very empathic, but they're very good at processing emotions and pain. And I think the Semper hasn't seen that before, where it's like, Pain comes in, pain happens to everybody. But this queen almost like, as it comes in, like just absorbs it and lets it go. Like it just, everything flows through this queen. Like very, very transparent, very open, very open, very not guarded, very, very not guarded. Like a master of emotions. Thank you, that's what it is, a master of emotions. This emperor is wanting to talk to this queen about what's going on and what they're processing as far as their own happiness and their own plan, but they're, they're afraid. They're afraid. It's almost like this emperor wants to make sure they're going to be successful before they talk. But that, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you, spirit. That's what it is. This emperor wants to process their plan towards happiness, the moves they have to make, the moves they've been needing to make because they've been in denial about being able to do it. Not having the, I don't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I don't have the confidence to do that. How can I pull that off? They want to make sure they can actually do it before they can talk to this queen about it. It's almost like, I want to make sure I will be successful. I want to make sure that I can, that it will all be a positive thing. Like nothing will be negative about this whole experience. And then they're going to talk to this queen about it. But right now they're too afraid to because they can't guarantee success yet. Whew. Talk about the hangman. For Libra, I just heard Pisces. Mar oh, okay, Mars. I mean, we're going to be having a lot of Mars energy because we have, you know, well, Mars is in Libra. <laughs> first full moon in aries mars and then we're gonna go into scorpio season mars and pluto but that's interesting so maybe someone has like a mars water placement talking about the hangman talking about the hangman for libra talking about the hangman for libra regarding love october 12th to the 21st all right got one other card out here yeah see eight of wands in reverse sagittarian energy this emperor doesn't want to talk yet. This emperor doesn't want to talk yet. They have to deal with their own denial first. They have to deal with their own lack of confidence, their own blockages. This, this emperor, I feel like, has quite the big throat chakra blockage or like the holding of the peace kind of blockage. They really need to be able to work through that. Yeah, they really need to be able to work through that. It's like they can't approach this person until they do that. And they know that. It's interesting because this is something that this emperor's been in denial about for a long time with whatever reaching their happiness is. And I feel like for a lot of them, it's like, it is career related. But more than that, it is also about like, being able to communicate. <laughs> you know, it's like being able to like, feel comfortable. Just just being open. Thank you. Like the queen. This this is interesting. This emperor is learning from this queen and how to be transparent, how to be open, how to deal with emotions in a masterful kind of a way. Either way. They're thinking about their end goal. They're thinking about their happiness. They want that that guaranteed success before they approach this queen. And part of that success is getting rid of the this communicative blockage along with the, their own confidence issues, their own denial about themselves in career and or love or family. Okay, and overall energy for the hangman. We've got the chariot. Cancerian energy, forward movement. This emperor will be successful. And whatever it is that they're trying to achieve in career, love, or family, or what have you, once they get that, once they get to that point of getting rid of that lack of confidence, that lack of faith in themselves, and getting rid of that throat chakra blockage that I'm sensing here, they'll and that guaranteed success, harnessing that King of Pentacles energy, they will approach this queen. They will approach this queen and talk to this queen. Libra, I do feel like you are this queen here. Decide who you are in the situation, okay? We got two people right now. All right, so let's keep it moving. I'm not really interested in this. Because it just feels like a lot of lack of confidence, a lot of like self-doubt, a lot of negative self-talk, a lot of denial. It doesn't feel like it benefits anybody and it's already going to be passing. It's going to be conquered. It's going to be conquered. So let's not even focus on that. Let's focus on this. Let's focus on the end conversation here, Libra. Let's look at this eight of wands. Let's look at the talk. Let's look at the talk that's going to happen. Again, Libra, watch the mistrust. <laughs> watch the guarded energy watch it okay watch it because again whatever you're picking up on it could all just transpire to like oh that's what was going on oh that's all i needed to know don't need to have a fight unnecessarily i'm with the eight of wands for libra so i'm with the eight of wands for libra so i'm with the eight of wands for libra regarding love October 12th to the 21st. Some of the Eight of Wands for Libra regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Some of the Eight of Wands for Libra regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Wow. Oh, I love it. Strength in reverse, Leo energy. This is just letting shit be. Not trying to control anything. Not trying to control anything. It is also addressing that like lack of confidence issue that this emperor has come out of. Definitely by this point, coming out of. But I do feel a sense of like, I'm not going to control the situation. I'm not going to try to, 
get that wit. I'm just, just letting the conversation be and just letting the truth flow. I like it. I really like that. It's almost like, um, like, you know how like cats, any kind of cat in the cat family, um, they're truly vulnerable when they show their bellies, right? Like when they're just like, oh, <laughs> they don't want their bellies rubbed, by the way. That is a misconception. Don't rub a cat's belly if it's showing it to you. It's just submitting. It's just saying like, I am so comfortable and open right now that I know nothing bad will happen to me. Like it's that kind of energy. A lot of Leo energy here. It's that kind of energy. You could be dealing with a Leo Libra. I'm just saying. A lot, of, a lot of Leo energy here. So if you are doing Leo and they're showing you their belly, just let it be. Don't try to get more out of it. Just let, just let them show you their belly. Okay. Oh, I love it. Eight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy, releasing that fear, releasing that anxiety, releasing that self-doubt. Oh, this feels really nice, Libra. feels like a big sigh, like, oh, like a big sigh of relief. Oh, night. I need new glasses, I swear. Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Mm. Releasing this fear of inappropriate love. The Knight of Cups in reverse is my inappropriate lover card or situation card where it's either like, some, it's like someone's just not appropriate when it comes to love or romance or what have you or emotions in general, whether they like are a complete cold robot. I was like, what's a good word for that? Um, or they're a big player, they just give it all away to everybody, right? Or they're somewhere in between, or they have narcissistic tendencies or selfish tendencies. Anyway, not appropriate. Just whatever not appropriate is to you is the epitome of the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is releasing fear of that. This is interesting. Releasing fear of that. You know, Libra, you two could be mirroring each other a little bit here because now I'm picking up that this person might also not have approached you out of fear that maybe you would have been like this with them. Suspicion. Yeah, I think, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I think you two are mirroring each other a little bit. If you've like, if you're in a relationship with this person, you're dating this person, a little bit of mirroring going on there because I feel release of fear of not being loved appropriately. Wow. That's quite a conversation, Libra. It's almost an energy of like, you thought that? Well, I thought you were doing the same thing. It's kind of cute, actually. So I'm with the Eight of Wands. So I'm with the Eight of Wands for Libra. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Of course, that's only for some of you. I also feel with this conversation, there will be no more holding back of emotions. There will be no more holding back of love if you're finding yourself in a romantic situation. No more holding back of the truth. Oh, I love that. No more holding back of the truth. With, and definitely releasing a lot of anxiety and fear because of it. Time of the Eight of Wands for Libra. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st see here oh i love this hierophant in reverse taurian energy and the six of swords aquarian energy moving past non-committal energy or lack of oh come on come back there we go <laughs> moving past non-committal energy or lack of belief energy hierophant in reverse is like not having faith not having belief also not learning lessons here but all of that kind of negated committal loyal energy moving past that Moving past that into peace and trust. Trust, peace and trust. I like it. I really like it. A lot of travel cards here too. Like I said, you could be traveling with this person or to or from this person. And of course they could be doing this to you or moving in, especially with the chariot card. Yeah, we've got chariot, eight of wands and the six of swords. Are there any other travel cards I'm missing? Oh, the world, the world's not out here, but that's usually international travel. You literally have all of the um, travel cards except for one. So I'm going for the Eight of Wands for Libra. Oh, did I get a peeker? I did. Oh, King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. Harnessing the energy the emperor has to harness to get to that happy place. To get to that happy place. Moving away from mistrust, moving away from illusions, their own personal deceptions, their own lack of confidence, all of that to get to their happy place and move into a place of peace trust and commitment and loyalty overall energy oh my goodness we've got the emperor oh <laughs> emperor uh aries energy taurus energy divine masculine energy again that same emperor right here with the hermit virgo energy the world in reverse you, ding 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 you got the last travel card Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Capricorn, Hangman in reverse, Piscean energy, again, coming out of that 
MIA, con oh God, I can't pick this up, <laughs> contemplative mode to victory, six of wands, Leo, Jupiter and Leo energy with the queen of cups to the queen, Cancerian energy, Chelsea Pisces or Scorpio to build. Three of Pentacles, Cappy Energy, to build. I love this. I freaking love this. This is the Emperor basically figuring out the stuff that they need to get rid of. Right? All that lack of confidence, all that lack of faith, all the self-doubt, all of that insecurity, all of that shit in their head that's kept them from being the person they want to be, kept them from the happiness that they want, which for a lot of them does involve a Queen of Cups energy, especially if we're talking just purely romance here. Doing that contemplative work and be like, okay, I know what I need to end now. Light bulb moment. I know how to have victory with my Queen to start building what it is I want as an emperor and a king of pentacles. I love it. I freaking love it. Libra, this is beautiful. It's a very beautiful, solid read. But like I said, you're going to be on the, on the offensive. You're going to be on the defensive here a little bit because I don't think you're aware of what's going on behind the scenes. You just know something's going on and you just don't know what it is. And that's going to make you crazy. Okay. This person's not ready to talk about it because they already have communicative issues. They already have a blocked throat chakra here, very, very blocked, while a major third eye opening. That's kind of intense energy to deal with on your own, let alone trying to deal with someone else in that process. So try to be patient. I know you hate that word. I do too, as a Scorpio, personally, I do. Um, but it's true, patience is usually required. This is also my designated Mercury retrograde card, just so you know. Um, for some of you, this could take a while to transpire, but you know, all the way through to December, most likely, because that's when Mercury will be going direct. So just, uh, and the post shadow, will, the post shadow will be done in December for Mercury um, retrograde. Okay, so keep that in mind. For some of you, it might take a couple months to play out. But either way, Libra, try to not go to this dark place. Try really hard not to try to give people the benefit of the doubt. I know that that's really hard to do. I also think spending time meditation will be really helpful to Libra to kind of let this energy break up to be like, okay, what do I truly know? <laughs> What are the true facts of the situation? What do I know about this person? What do I know about the situation? What is speculation versus fact? And I think that's going to help you a little bit here. And I think through meditation, you might also get some answers, especially around the full moon in Aries. And again, try not to just go for the jugular here. Wait for the damning evidence if you think someone's up to no good, okay? Because some of you guys are definitely doing some mirroring here. Whereas this person with these communicative issues and these insecurities might have thought that you were up to something or might have thought like, you were just going to end up being an inappropriate lover with them. Uh, and in turn, they go in, they go within and try to figure this shit out, realizing that some of their own blockages, all the while you're like, what the hell is this fucker up to? Right? A little bit of mirroring, so just keep that in mind. Now, let's pull some advice. Let's pull some advice, Libra. Why do I feel the need to pull out Soul's Journey? Mm, okay, I'm feeling compelled to pull out Soul's Journey, so let's just do it. This is beautiful, Reed. I love the way this all lined up. This is awesome. Libra, some of you are learning patience as a life lesson here. Just saying. I can feel it. You know who you are. It's not for everybody, but you know who you are. Is there anything you want my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Then we'll pull some advice. Anything you want my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Ah. Anything you want my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Oh, interesting. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Sorry, I was like, whoa. That enshrines my soul. Health doesn't always have to mean physical. It can also mean mental health. Okay? And like I said, Libra, this person's kind of realizing... They've got some stuff of their own they got to work out, including their own confidence here, okay? So again, try to be patient with them. Yeah, I'm actually, again, this is way more about mental health than physical health. If you're working on your stuff, you know you're working on your stuff, okay? Anything else you want my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything else you want my Libras to be, oh, yeah, I'm getting, they're bringing up denial again. There's the only card I have out here still. They're bringing up denial again, and I'm getting a lot of heart chakra energy with all this green and health. And I think this person's heart chakra needs attention too. Like, because this Queen of Cups is a very open one. <laughs> it might as well be a flasher. Very, very open heart chakra. Very, very open. And this person with communicative blockages and throat chakra blockages might have some stuff going on in their heart chakra that they need to pay attention to as well. Okay. 
Anything else with my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? I might have to stitch these videos just a heads up. When that happens, I like lose a second. I don't know why my phone does that. It just does. For my newbies, my oldies, you already know. Okay. Anything else with my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything else with my Libras to be aware of regarding this spread? Oh, that's it on the bottom. Oh! purpose. I like it. I know what I am here to do. I really like I really like this. I feel like purpose is kind of a misleading word for this because I really feel like it's not about purpose in life except for this. Um, oh, thank you for the emperor. For the emperor, it is definitely about purpose and their happiness and what they really want for themselves. And they need to go and figure that shit out away from you, Libra. And if it's vice versa, it's vice versa. But more than purpose, it's also just about um, truth, right? We know our purpose when we know ourselves and when we have content in trust. You don't know your purpose in life or the purpose of a relationship or the purpose of just your existence until you have that trust in yourself and knowing of yourself, right? So just take that home with you, Libras. And again, I do feel like this is more for the emperor than anything else. Um, yeah, it is for more for the emperor, but just also know that that trust is a big part of that about understanding where you're going. How could you possibly know where to go with a person or in life if you have no trust in yourself or other people? Can't trust a path if you can't have trust, right? Right, okay. So let's go ahead and pull some cards here. Let's pull some advice. Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice from my Libras regarding this spread? Come on. Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for my Libras regarding this spread? Something about poetry just came up. So you guys might get a love poem. That's kind of cute. Ooh! Spider spirit, make your dreams real. 56, break it down to an 11. This is manifestation manifestation energy, excuse me. Manifestation energy with a master number at that. The five, the six working through the five though, the six working through the five, I feel like that's about harmony, balance, and also the past for some of you. Working through change, change. That's help, yeah, that's helping you cause change here. Uh, Libras, again, as always, because you already know this, your Libras, make sure you are balanced here. Make sure you're really balanced during this time and really grounded during this time to really deal with what's going on here. That's going to help you a lot. That's going to really help you a lot and to really um, help this come to fruition if this is what you want with this person. Also going for the emperor if my emperor's got a lot of Libra placements or a strong Libra placement. Any other advice for my Libras? They keep bringing it back to your intuition, Libras. I feel like there's more from my Queen of Cups energies. You, my Queen of Cups who are watching, you're already very intuitive here. But again, it's like, I had to say this in another reading. Was it Scorpio? I think it was Scorpio for, la for last week. Um, intuition is great for a lot of things. I feel like you need to use your intuition to remain calm and clear-headed, not to figure out what someone's up to. Big difference, okay? <laughs> Big difference there, Libras. Use your intuition, get grounded, get balanced to find peace in the situation, not to crucify somebody, okay? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. In your meditations, focus on you and how you're feeling, not the other person, okay? Not the other person. Do, take this time to also check yourself with any mistrust issues you may have, Libra, okay? Any other advice for Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for Libras regarding this spread? Any other advice for Libras regarding this spread? Any advice for Libras regarding this spread? Okay, got a couple more out here. Oh, wow. I When I looked at this, I was like, <laughs> I don't know why this seems so painful to me. Mouse spirit, 10 to the small things, 40 breaking down to a four, and wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. 64, cyclical energy. Okay, Libras, I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to like it, and it ain't for everybody. It's only for a few people. Um, for some, someone's got to close out a relationship. With 10 to the small things, that's what I'm getting. It's almost like the ongoing, never-ending breakup. 
is what I'm getting. Like, okay, we're broken up, we're broken up. And then, hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> you know, like, that's kind of what I'm getting. The text messages and like, hey, I miss you. I'm, I'm drinking at a bar and I just want to let you know I miss you. You know, that kind of bullshit. That needs to end. Okay, that's definitely for a few people. That's definitely not for all of you. I feel like it's on the side of the emperor first and foremost, okay? But outside of that, it was just a download that I got. Outside of that, this is finding stability and closing out some painful ass shit. This is for my emperors here, okay? The negative self-talk, the self-doubt, the lacking of confidence, the they're always going to hurt me, they're always going to cheat on me, they're never going to love me the way I deserve to be loved, they're never going to love me the way I give love back. That shit needs to be closed out, okay? And tending to the small things, I do feel like it's almost like the nagging voice is actually what I'm getting. You know, for my emperors, I'm sure some of you have been aware of this, and so maybe you have tried to work on it, but maybe you haven't realized that there's been a lot more other work to do. It's something about going deeper yeah going deeper you know when we do healing it's kind of an interesting thing I, i've described it like you know digging out of a trash can you got a huge trash can of shit not actual shit that'd be disgusting um of garbage that you need to like take out look at get rid of and then you know so you can actually fill that up with more love self-love and confidence and happiness and peace a peace of mind right create more energetic space for yourself so anyway it's really easy to start with like when you start your healing journey of like on the surface, oh, okay, okay, duh, yeah, I knew that, I knew that, but then when you go deeper, it's harder to dig deep, right? Even if you don't have, like, as much as you did before, it, the pile is a lot smaller, but it's like, oh, man, that's, like, really hard to get to. Oh, that's really hard to face. Do it. It'll be painful. It'll be like ripping off a big-ass bandage band-aid, because um, it'll be painful, but then you can work through it and then you'll create more energetic space and then you'll also feel like more freedom with that, right? Because it's like, it's harder to do than the healing you had to do 10 years ago, right? Because it was stuff that you were very aware of. Or Damn it. Because <laughs> it was stuff that you're really aware of versus stuff that maybe you weren't so aware of, right? That goes for both of you, just saying. Queen of Cups and Emperor here. Um, but do it. It's worth it. It's worth it. And overall, oh, very nice. Rhino spirit overcoming the... Oh my God. Okay. I saw a bear... I saw it in my mind's eye, but I wasn't going to say, I'm like, no, that's not, I mean, that's obvious. It's hermit energy, right? Like that's exactly what the emperor is doing, but it is here. Rhino spirit, overcome any obstacle, 50 breaking down to a five. This is about getting over these hurdles, working through our issues. Emperors is definitely for you, for my queen of cups. Also for you in regards to your mistrust, okay? In regards to having trust easily broken and needing to be able to give people the benefit of the doubt and also making it about you, not other people. Ooh, I felt, oh, I know you guys felt that one. I could feel it. So you guys felt that one in your heart and your gut. Making it about you, not other people. When it comes to not feeling secure or not feeling confident in someone or feeling like all of a sudden you can't trust someone because you don't know the full truth of what's going on. We don't always have to know what's going on, Libra. We don't. This feels very similar to the Scorpionic read I did a week ago. Um, anyway, overcoming that overcoming that and overcoming any issues you may have with this person or any of these communicative blocks you may have with this person because like I said brown bear spirit take a time out oh <laughs> spirit just said go into your corners oh my god I love that go into your corners Libra okay let them do their thing work through their shit and then go to your corner and practice patience practice benefit of the doubt focus on you not the other person okay all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope it was helpful and insightful. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Libras. And a great birthday. Namaste.